Tao overflows. Present moment is deep presence. Present moment, present is not part of the past or future. It is the line that divides the two. It is very precise. And in that moment, you experience deep presence. If you are in the company of a flower, flower and you become one. Both you and the flower are thoughts in the mind. When there is no thinking, who is the flower and who is the one observing it, that vanish. The observer becomes the observed. Suddenly all boundaries have dissolved. You have penetrated into the flower and flower has penetrated into you. Suddenly there are not two. One exists. This presence of oneness is this very moment. In that moment there is non-duality. The flower and you do not exist as separate, instead as one presence. If you start thinking, you become two. Again, and if you do not think, there is no thought process. Duality cannot exist. When you exist with the flower, without thinking, it is a dialogue. It is a dialogue, not a dialogue not a dialogue, instead a dialogue, means the flower is not saying, you are not saying anything, you are not thinking, both are a presence, emptiness. In that moment it is no more a dialogue, instead dialogue. When you exist with your lover, in that way, it is a dialogue, not a dialogue, because two are not there. Therefore, sitting by the side of your lover or beloved, holding the hands, you simply exist. You do not think of the days gone by. Also, you are not thinking of the future coming. This very moment is so fulfilling that there is no worries about the or the lament of the past or the aspirations for the future. You are here now and it is so beautiful to be in here now and so intense, so beautiful and so intense that no thought can penetrate this insanity and narrow is the gate of the present. The gate of this present moment is very narrow. Not even two can enter into it together, only one. In the present, thinking is not possible, dreaming is not possible, because thinking is past-oriented, dreaming is future-oriented, dreaming is nothing else but thinking in pictures. It is pictorial thinking. Both are things and both are materialistic. When you are in present, in the present, that present could be the presence of a flower, 
presence of the sunlight, presence of your lover, presence of your beloved, without thinking, you are for the first time spiritual. A new dimension opens and that dimension is the dimension of awareness. And if you can experience this dimension of awareness in the company of your lover or beloved, you have transcended beyond the duality. But you have not known that dimension yet. Heraclitus says that you are asleep and not aware. Awareness means to be in the moment so totally that there is no movement towards the past or the future. All movements stop. This very moment is so fulfilling. Why to worry about the time gone by and time not yet born. That does not mean that you become static. This is erroneous to think that when you are not moving in the past, thinking, riding the wings of thinking, or riding the wings of imagination into the future, you have become static. Instead, a new moment, movement starts. And this movement is the movement of death. You know two things, two types of movements are there. And that is the meaning of Jesus' cross. It shows two movements. It shows a crossroad. One movement is linear. You move as a line, in a line, from one thing to another. And this is what we are all in our lives. We are moving from one object to another. We are moving one spouse to another. This is linear movement from one thought to another thought, from one dream to another dream. You are moving on the surface from A to B, B to C. This is like swimming. It is relaxing, but you are on the surface. Just it is a linear movement from left to right. From A you move to B and B to C and C you move to D. This way you move in a straight line linear, it is horizontal and you remain on the surface. This is the movement in time. Jesus' heart is at a crossroad of movement in time and movement in eternity. Heart can move in time and it can move into eternity. That is the meaning of the cross. You have a vertical line, you have a horizontal line. Horizontal line represents the move, linear movement, the movement into the dimension of time and the vertical movement represents movement in eternity. This movement of time or movement in time on this when you are on the surface moving from one object to another, one spouse to another, one object to another, this is the movement of the one who is fast asleep. You can go on like a shuttle back and forth. It has its utility, but the line is there. You can 
come from B to A, A to B, the line is there and the movement is linear, horizontal. There is another movement in which it is, there is a totally different dimension. That movement is no more horizontal, it is vertical. It is like diving. You do not go from A to B or B to C. Instead, you go from A to a deeper A. If we have to measure the depth from the point A, you will be calling A1, A2, A3. You are on the surface. It is point A. From point A you move a little deeper to point 2. Then you go a little deeper again point A3. In depth or in height, depth and height are both mean the same thing. When thinking stops, the, this new movement starts. You start moving into the depth an abyss-like phenomena happens. People who are meditating deeply, they come to that point sooner or later through love. If you are intensely in love with someone, it may be a flower, you are simply in the presence of the flower, thoughtless, then you will come to this point sooner or later. When they become afraid because they feel as if an abyss has opened a bottomless abyss, you become afraid and you would like to cling to the old movement because that was known and this feels like depth. This movement, which is vertical, you are going deeper, it is like death. Going from horizontal to the vertical is death. Indeed, that is the real death. But it is death on one side. And on the other side, it is resurrection, not birth, rebirth. It is resurrection. It is dying to be reborn. It is dying from one dimension to be born into another dimension. Horizontal, you are Jesus. Vertical, you become Christ. Horizontal, from left to right, you are Jesus, the Son of Man. And vertical, you become Christ the Son of God. That is why Jesus we call both Jesus Christ. If you move from one thought to another, you remain in the world of time. If you move into the thoughts, you move into eternity. If you are not moving into thoughts, you are moving into eternity. You are static in this world and but in the other, it is a totally different thing. Remember, there are these two words, horizontal line. You move because of motivation. You have to achieve something, money, prestige, power or anything. But in the vertical movement, you achieve nothing. A motivation is there. A motivated movement means sleep. An unmotivated movement means the awareness. You enter into awareness because awareness is a sheer joy. You move because movement is life. You move because life is energy. Life is movement. You move because energy is delight, not for anything else, but for your own sake. There is no goal in it. Enough for now. Thank you.